Most people know that there are three tenses, past, present, and future. However, in addition to the three tenses, there are four moods. The simple mood, the perfect mood, the progressive mood, also known as the continuous, and the perfect progressive mood. Of these four moods, though, the most common one is the simple mood. So let's take a look at how that functions. Within the context of the simple mood, there are three tenses, of course, past, present, and future. Let's begin with simple past. This refers to an event that was completed in the past, or it will refer to actions and or events that were completed, but the implications of which are no longer applicable. Within this context, we are going to be looking for a past tense verb, which typically ends in ED although we do have irregular verbs where that is not applicable. Let's take a look at a visual representation of the simple past tense on this timeline. We have the past, present, and future, and the simple past event is simply one event standalone that took place in the past, illustrated by our red star here. For example, I paid my taxes last year. Looking back at our timeline, we see here in the past, we paid the taxes. Now, what if it's an event that's no longer applicable? I paid my taxes once. It means you did it once, but haven't done it since. Hence, you're in county jail because the government wants its money. So here, the past tense can also refer to something that was done in the past, but it's not applicable in the future. This can actually create some confusion. For example, if I say I loved my wife, then the reader may be confused as to whether or not I still love my wife. So if I said I loved my wife and my wife heard me say that, she would have some questions about whether or not that is still applicable. As a result, you need to be cautious when you're using the simple past tense so that you don't create confusion in these kinds of contexts. Let's move on to simple present. This is used to express a habit or often repeated action. This is not something that is done perpetually, but rather with regularity. Now, what to look for? A standard verb form, whatever that might happen to be. Let's see how this looks on our timeline. Past, present, future. Simple present is just something that's done with regularity. You've done it in the past, you do it now, and you will do it in the future. Example. I pay my taxes every year. So this is something done with regularity. On the timeline, it looks like this. Last year I paid taxes, this year I paid taxes, next year I pay taxes, 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 taxes. You do it with regularity. Now, simple future tense is used to refer to a future action. What to look for? The word will paired with the standard form verb. Let's take a look at our timeline. Here we have the past, present, and future. And the future tense will simply be an event, singular event, that takes place in the future as illustrated by our red star. Example, I will pay my taxes next year. On our timeline, we have all that tax money coming out next year, something we will do in the future. Let's do a quick summary. Past tense, it's got two jobs. It refers to an event that was completed in the past, or it refers to actions or events that were completed but are no longer applicable. What to look for? You're gonna look for a past tense verb. They typically end in ED, but there are irregular verbs that end in other ways. Example, I paid my taxes. Simple present is used to express a habit or often repeated action an action done with regularity. What to look for? A standard form verb. For example, I pay my taxes. And the simple future is used to refer to a future action. It features the word will paired with a standard form verb. Example, I will pay my taxes. I hope that was clear. If you have any questions about the other moods, perfect, progressive, or perfect progressive, as well as conditional and modal tenses, check out our other videos on verb tense on this YouTube channel. 
If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments section below and we will get to them as soon as possible. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other.